Welcome! In this video tutorial we're going to show you one of the most important features of Streetwise CADLINK and that's the status buttons. Streetwise has status buttons that indicate the status of your particular apparatus uh, that work just like the status buttons on any other MDT or sophisticated communication system. Now the status buttons are located at the top of the screen on every screen of Streetwise. So it doesn't matter whether you're in the alerts tab or the uh, tactical map uh, or even the pre-plan area, you're always going to have the status buttons at the top of the screen. The way the status buttons are arranged, the one on the far left, which is always going to be highlighted in red, is indicating the current status that's recorded in the database for your particular uh, device or your unit. The next three buttons are what we call the smart status buttons. And essentially these are going to change based on whatever status you're currently in. And they will display the next three most logical uh, buttons that you would be most likely to use. So right now our unit is available. Now it makes sense that the next three possible statuses we may want is that we're en route to the next call, we're back in quarters, or perhaps we have to mark the truck out of service and we go unavailable. But you can see that if we choose en route, then en route moves to the current status and the next three most logical choices would be arriving on the scene, arriving in staging, or being canceled from the call. Now you can see that if we mark into staging, the next three most logical choices are on scene, again we could get canceled, or we may get marked in service and return back to the station. Now beyond the three smart status buttons, there's this icon. We call it the hamburger icon because if you look at it, it's three lines, but I don't know, if you're like me, it reminds me of a of a hamburger. So if you tap that it's going to present the entire list of all possible statuses that you may wish to use and this is a scrolling list so there's a lot of selections available to you. Included in that list are statuses that are known as benchmark statuses meaning that they're not going to actually change the current status of your unit but they are going to record an important event or of that's part of that incident. So for instance, if you wanted to indicate first water applied, you can choose that status. It shows you've recorded first water applied, but your next three logical choices are basically the same as if you had indicated you were on scene. You could also say par check conducted. And again, this is a good way to record uh, that you've uh, completed a par check and have that uh, available for you in the log. Now some of the statuses will show you as engaged on this incident. Right now of course we're available so correspondingly up here it indicates we're not engaged but as soon as we hit en route you can see that we have now been logged in to this particular incident so we'll now have access to the tactical map for that incident will have access to all the tactical waypoints for that incident and to the messaging and photo shares for that particular incident. If we cancel, you can see that that takes us out of being engaged and we're no longer going to have the tactical waypoints on our map. Now what happens to these status buttons after you've pushed them? Well, that's an important feature because it records the time that you push that button right down to the tenth of a second. And that information is available in the web portal. So if you go to the web portal, you can bring up each and every status that was changed by any of the devices on any given alert. You can also go to the devices tab, bring up any specific device, and you'll be able to look at all of the statuses and all of the incidents that that unit has been involved in. Now in addition, Streetwise CADLINK has the ability through an auxiliary programming interface to send those statuses to third parties such as a CAD system or a records management system. Many of our clients have a send the status button activations back to their CAD vendor 
The CAD vendor accesses that information through our auxiliary programming interface and the CAD vendor then can use it to change the status automatically in the CAD system without the unit ever having to use the radio. If you're an emergency reporting customer, we're strategic partners with emergency reporting, so all of your status activations can go directly into the NFIRS report. So by the time you return to the fire station, the status activations from all of your different devices have automatically been recorded in the unit tab of the NFIRS report in emergency reporting.